Hey everybody, welcome back to Love Lessons Lounge. It's so good to have you here. For those tuning in for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join us. Here at Love Lessons Lounge, we believe that love is a journey, not a destination. And sometimes that journey can be a little complicated. So if you're ready to dive into the ups and downs of love and relationships, you've come to the right place. Grab a comfy seat, get ready to laugh a little, or maybe a lot, and let's get started. Okay, let's be honest, life can be stressful. Work deadlines, family drama, that never-ending to-do list, it can all really take a toll. And when you're feeling overwhelmed, the last thing on your mind is romance. Think about it, you're trying to juggle a million things at once, your brain is fried, and you just want to crawl into bed and forget about the world. Not exactly the recipe for a romantic evening, right? So, if your partner seems distant or less interested in intimacy, take a moment to consider what's going on in her life. Is she feeling the pressure at work? Is she dealing with a difficult family situation? Sometimes just acknowledging her stress and offering a listening ear can make a world of difference. Let her know that you understand and that you're there for her. A little empathy can go a long way. And hey, maybe even offer to give her a massage or draw her a warm bath. A little pampering can work wonders when someone's feeling stressed. Just saying. You know that game we used to play as kids, telephone, where you whisper a message from person to person and by the time it gets to the end, it's completely different? Well, communication in relationships can be a lot like that sometimes. Things get lost in translation, misunderstandings happen, and before you know it, you're not even speaking the same language anymore. Open and honest communication is so important in any relationship, but it's especially crucial when it comes to intimacy. If you're not communicating your needs and desires to your partner, how can you expect them to know what's going on? And on the flip side, if you're not making an effort to understand your partner's needs and desires, you're likely to miss the mark. So how do you improve communication in your relationship? Well, it starts with talking to each other. And I don't just mean talking about what you had for dinner or what's on TV. I mean really talking about your feelings, your fears, your hopes, and your dreams. It might feel awkward at first, but trust me, the more you communicate, the easier it will become. Reason number three, it's not you, it's her body. Okay, this one might seem obvious, but sometimes we forget that our bodies aren't always our own. We get sick, we get injured, and sometimes our bodies just need a break. And when you're not feeling your best physically, it can definitely put a damper on your desire for intimacy. Think about it. When you have a pounding headache or a nasty cold, the last thing you want is to be touched, right? You just want to curl up in a ball and be left alone. Well, the same goes for when you're experiencing other physical discomforts like menstrual cramps, digestive issues, or even just plain old exhaustion. So if your partner is constantly turning down your advances, it's worth considering whether there might be an underlying physical issue at play. It could be something as simple as needing more sleep or as complex as a hormonal imbalance. The important thing is to be understanding and supportive. Encourage her to talk to a doctor if she's experiencing persistent pain or discomfort. And in the meantime, focus on showing her love and affection in other ways. Reason number four, emotional drifting. Remember that feeling you get when you first start dating someone? The butterflies, the excitement, the feeling like you can't get enough of each other? That's emotional connection. It's what draws us to each other and keeps the spark alive in our relationships. But over time, that emotional connection can start to fade if we're not careful. Life gets in the way, routines set in, and before you know it, you're living more like roommates than romantic partners. You might still care about each other deeply, but that spark, that feeling of being truly connected just isn't there anymore. And when you're not feeling emotionally connected to your partner, it's natural for your desire for intimacy to dwindle. So how do you reconnect emotionally with your partner? Well, it takes effort, but it's definitely possible. Start by making an effort to spend quality time together without distractions. Put away your phones, turn off the TV, and just focus on each other. Talk about your day, share your thoughts and feelings, and really listen to what the other person has to say. Reason number five, hormones gone wild. Okay, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Hormones, they can be a blessing and a curse, right? One minute you're feeling on top of the world, and the next minute you're ready to cry over a spilled glass of milk. And unfortunately, our hormones can also have a big impact on our libido. Throughout our lives, our bodies go through a lot of changes, and those changes can definitely affect our desire for intimacy. During our menstrual cycles, for example, our hormone levels fluctuate wildly, 
which can lead to changes in our mood, our energy levels, and yes, even our sex drive. And then there's menopause, which brings about a whole other set of hormonal changes that can affect our bodies in countless ways. So if your partner seems less interested in sex than usual, it's possible that her hormones are to blame. The good news is that there are things she can do to manage her hormones and boost her libido, such as talking to her doctor about hormone therapy or making lifestyle changes like eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise. In the meantime, be patient, understanding, and remember that it's not personal. Well, there you have it. Five common reasons why your partner might not be in the mood. Remember, relationships are all about communication, understanding, and a whole lot of patience. So the next time you're feeling a little frustrated in the bedroom, take a deep breath, try to see things from your partner's perspective, and remember that you're in this together. What do you think? Have you ever experienced any of these issues in your own relationships? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. I love hearing from you. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Love Lessons Lounge for more relationship advice and fun. Until next time, keep the love alive.